Respect the mic. Respect the mic. Okay. So, I've been told to find my path and trust the path, to not veer from the path, to remain focused until the end of time. How am I supposed to leave a, le leave a legacy, they say, when I'm interested in so many trades? I need to have a passion that drives me to move mountains and risk it all for the very thing that makes me tick. Thing is, I don't feel the need to pursue one particular career or become an engineer. I'm not even too concerned with leaving a legacy. But if you tell me I don't have a passion, you're wrong. I do have a passion and this is it. More than anything on earth, I want to be a mother. Not anytime soon, but eventually. You see, I think the parent industry is in trouble. Contrary to belief, empathy isn't a default of having children, just like making money isn't default to owning a business. There's more to having kids than hugs and kisses and having food in the kitchen. I don't care to be a perfect mom. No, I want to be an exceptional mom, but vasty. All mothers are exceptional in their own way. Wouldn't it suffice just to refer to decent mothers? No, not necessarily. Unfortunately for many of us, a mother's love isn't equivalent to raising kids well. I love my parents, but our relationship would be different if they watched two or three TED Talks on parenting. Or read more literature. Not to be smarter, but to understand the human experience a little better. To understand me better. Good parenting seems to be a trait of the minority, and yet I see therein the very challenge to join the minority. Because the world is in bad shape, and good mothers are hard to find these days, and this is my way of making it better. My passion is nothing more than the life I intend to live with her. We don't need an extravagant life. I just want to work from home so that we can have eggs and toast together for breakfast. Because she deserves to see me more than the people at the office. I want to provide her with the best education my money can afford to give her that gift that was unjustly denied to my ancestors. Hopefully her history classes remind her that as black Latin American women, we've come a fucking long way. <laughs> While she's young, I want to read to her every night like my mother did to me, and unlike me, she won't be raised a vegetarian. How could I ever deny her the pleasure that only well-seasoned meat can give? I want to braid her hair and remind her that she's lovely, especially on the days when he leaves, her heart is broken, and it's over, because even the best parenting book couldn't effectively teach you how to prevent heartbreak and disappointment. It won't be my job to smother her, but to do the little things that let her know she's appreciated and acknowledged because she's the only evidence I have that God is real. And isn't that what we crave more than anything? Not necessarily to be liked, but to be understood. This is my passion. And if I only succeed in one aspect of motherhood, let it be this. My daughter will know with absolute certainty and unwavering faith that she is loved and understood beyond reason, beyond doubt, and beyond words. Yeah.